And welcome back to another daily devotion. I am Pastor Roy here at Woodlawn Christian Church in Lake City, Iowa, and this devotion is for Wednesday, December 6th of 2023. We are in the Gospel of Mark. We just started Mark this week. We're on our third day of Mark here, um, and we're going to look at verses 5 to 8 in the first chapter of Mark. We left off with the first four. Uh, John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. Now remember, he's preaching that baptism. He can't actually do that. He can't actually forgive sins. John can't forgive sins. The priest can't forgive sins. Only Jesus, God, can forgive sins. Remember that. Only a baptism with the Holy Spirit, as we're going to talk about here yet today, is for the forgiveness of sins. You know. Everything that the minister does, as much as we love to baptize people, um, when I baptize somebody, it doesn't mean they're forgiven of their sins. That's not what happens at that moment. I dunk them under the water. <clears throat> and all right, let's jump into five to eight, chapter one of John, or excuse me, Mark's gospel. I already did John. And there went out to him all the country of Judea and all the people of Jerusalem, and they were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair and had a leather girdle around his waist and ate locusts and wild honey. And he preached, saying, After me comes he who is mightier than I, the thong of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit." Okay, uh, and remember, what, much of what we talked about yesterday was that uh, Isaiah and, and Malachi, that that was showing who who John was, that he was, the, the, because we introduced him yesterday, that he was this prophet, um, Ezekiel, or Elijah, rather, uh, that was coming. Um, today, we have, a, we have this mention of camel's hair and leather girdle. That's coming to us from 2 Kings. Um, in 7 to 9, in first chapter of Second Kings, it says, The king asked them, What kind of man was it who came to meet you and told you this? They replied, He had a garment of hair and had a leather belt around his waist. The king said, That was Elijah the Tishbite. Then he sent to Elijah a captain with his company of 50 men. The captain went up to Elijah, who was sitting at the top of a hill, and said to him, Man of God, the king says, Come down. So Elijah is who... They are painting John out as a modern, or as a reincarnation, or the reappearance, or however you want to say it, however you want to believe it. He is this prophet. He is a prophet coming to prepare the way for the king. The one, as he says here, who is mightier than him, who he has no business even untying, excuse me, untying his sandals. Um, so, as I said, now the, the, the baptism in the River Jordan when Gail and I and the other ministers we traveled with were in Israel, we were baptized in the Jordan. I got to baptize Gail. I had a great experience to be able to baptize my own wife in the Jordan River. And then one of the ministers that was with us, uh, Bill, helped, uh, and he baptized me in the River Jordan. It was a wonderful experience to be baptized in the Jordan. Um, something I strongly urge that if you ever get to Israel, do it. Go to the Jordan, be, be rebaptized. We, we, we love to rebaptize here in the Baptist Church, Baptists and Disciples. Um, <clears throat> it is a wonderful experience. But as much as getting baptized in the Jordan was a very um, moving and, and fulfilling experience, that's not what's not the forgiveness of sins. That, 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 that uh, you know, uh, Pastor Bill couldn't do that. I couldn't do that for Gail. Um, that's not what happens. It's a symbolic act. Of dying and being reborn again into into this new life, it is a symbolic thing. The baptism with the Holy Spirit happens on its own, and you have to realize that. As much as again, as much as we like dunking people, um, and it is a pro public profession of faith. It is a witness to others of your faith, and it's an important witness, a very very important witness, I think. But it's not the act that forgives your sins. That baptism with the Holy Spirit. That is between you and the Lord. That is what is the forgiveness of sins. We need to always remember that. It's not what you do in the baptistry. All right. Uh, <clears throat> so that was really the point I wanted to bring out to you today. I wanted to keep this one short. Um, trying to take, keep these shorter as we go through Mark. It might take us a while to get through Mark, but I want to keep it short and pithy each day. So tomorrow we will pick up with the baptism of Jesus, and we'll talk about that and what 
what message comes to us from that and what we can what we can ascertain about Christ um, from that that uh, verses 9 to 11 that's what it looks like we're going to pick up tomorrow all right have a blessed day please please be a blessing to someone today if you enjoy these devotions if you learn anything from them you gain anything from them if they speak to you in any way please like and subscribe come on back make a kind comment below if you would be so kind um, we'd love to see you again take care god bless god loves you bye-bye